And here comes our crew as they make their turn in toward the dock. And Cap's gonna watch out. He's getting close to the other vessel over here and just sneaks by. And he's even gonna try and slide in front of the boat that was right here on the right-hand side as well. And Cap's just gonna slide it in there like a glove and just sticks it. But welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are down here at 79th Street. And that was a pretty slick one. Cap just slid right in there. I thought for sure when I saw him coming up, he was gonna wind up smacking the other boat on the other dock, and so did the other person. One of the guys in that boat, as you saw, went running up to the front, the bow of the boat, to try and make sure to push him off. And now Cap is talking to the boat behind him. And the ladies are like, bro, we're pulling out. And so all of a sudden he's realizing, yeah, he's going to walk back here and talk to them. They may have to do the old switcheroo over there as well. And here comes our next vessel. And they're heading toward the same boat he almost hit also. But their motor's trimmed out, so they're trying to go in gear. She's got it going forward, but they're not going to get any bite from the prop because it's not in the water. And it looks like, so right here, I can't tell yet. It looks like she's still in neutral. Fighting with it for some reason. Goes into gear now, realizes she's not going anywhere. And looks back and light bulb. She's like, darn it, it's trimmed out. I'm assuming that was an accident. She must have been messing with the throttle. And when she was doing so, accidentally trimmed it up. So here we go. She's got it figured out now. She starts heading forward. And she's going to try and work her way around the other vessel that the first boat almost hit. Kind of a mess down here tonight. There's a lot of boats in a very condensed area. And they're all trying to work around each other. And the boat you keep seeing these guys go around that's sitting on the end of the dock all funky like this. They're broke down. So that's why they're sitting there like that is they kind of got pulled back into the face of the dock in that manner. And our slick captain who snuck in earlier is now trying to sneak back out after realizing the boat that he pulled in front of him is trying to get out. They're trying to pull the boat out of the water. So here he comes back around. He's going to have another close call. He's going to be close with this boat again. Hits that throttle and he's just going to sneak by one more time. About as close as you can get it. And leans back into the throttle going forward. Coming in a little hot on the dock this time. Brake checks it. And is going to bring it up for the soft landing again. And this cap is on fire. A little light smack there at the end with no fenders out. But man, just brings it right on up. And our crew struggled getting it down. But now they're just going to use the old backup assist method. And just pick the trailer up. It's in the water. Move it. So our guy's trying to get it on and get it loaded. He's got his buddy on the dock and he's telling him to go ahead and pull the truck forward a little bit as he's a little deeper than he'd like to be. But there's a few things going on here. We'll move the camera in a second. So I'm not really sure how they got this down here, but multiple things. One, there's a jet ski on the other side of them that is just run up on the concrete. It's just there blocking the ramp they were able to back around it and that's why they had to move the trailer a little bit because they were trying to get around that jet ski but there's something else going on this crew is not having the best day as we're about to see is the front tire if you look all the way to the front of the truck it's definitely a little low on air i'm not 100 percent sure what happened there but something's definitely wrong as we can see here if you look that tire is basically flat sitting on this truck that they just back down the ramp. I don't know how far they're going to get trying to tow this jet ski back home with that tire in that condition. We'll get a little better angle once she closes the door so we can get a better look at this one. But here you go. I mean, this thing is, it's not low. It is freaking flat. So I'm not sure what happened there. If they took a nail or something when they were pulling in on the boat ramp, but they're going to have an interesting time. Probably going to have to fix that before they go. And the jet ski has been sitting here for a little while. And it's blocking a whole ramp. So people who want to pull out right now, the only option they really have is to try and work around this ski that somebody just ran up here onto the concrete. I'm not 100% sure whose ski it is as we were getting out of the water and didn't witness it. 
So here comes our next crew, and they're going to try and come down the old ski dock here and see if they can work their way around this ski and back the trailer in. Again, our last crew did a pretty good job, even though somehow they got a flat tire doing it. And our guy here looks pretty solid right now as well. This is still a pretty small trailer, which makes it hard to see. One way he'd definitely have an easier time is if he popped that tailgate here and was able to just look back out and see the entire trailer. But with the guide poles up in the air, they've at least got a point of reference. But one of the tricky parts of this now too is their boat's on the dock. So they've got to get their boat that's on the same dock as where the jet ski's on that side around the jet ski to get over to the trailer. So our guy's going to toss off the lines as they try and figure out the best approach on this one. So it looks like our guy's walking around the truck and he's going to come over to this side. So I'm assuming we're going to try and move it off that dock and over to the seawall on this side. So our guy in the teal shirt's moved over. We toss the line over. And we're going to go ahead and pull the vessel over to this side and try and get it loaded from here. They're in still kind of at a funky angle, though, on the backup on this one. I've got to imagine they're going to have to try and adjust this one to get it right. So our guy's going to pull the boat over, and they're pulling the trailer back out again. As again, it was pretty close to the wall. They were going to have to try and reline it up. And there we go. He's just trying to pull it off the wall a little bit, get a little closer to the jet ski. Doesn't want to push it too close because his vehicle is a little wider than the trailer. So just because the trailer misses the jet ski doesn't mean the truck's going to miss it. But well, looks solid for such a small trailer. Again, we see people struggle with these all the time. And even with an obstacle in the way, our guy finds a way to get it done, gets it back down. And we're going to get the simple walk off here as our guy is going to even be able to walk the boat right on the trailer to close this one out for this crew and get them out of here. All right, so update on the jet ski. Guy in the blue shorts up here, the ski is his. And they've been sitting down at the end of the dock. We just didn't notice it because it's dark down here until now when emergency services show up. I'm not going to zoom in on this one. We're just going to say my guy's injured. So I'm assuming they were trying to get the ski loaded or doing something. And somehow our guy has taken something to the foot. And so emergency services down here to attempt to get this out of his foot. And it's not the greatest of scenes, but that does explain at least why the jet ski was up there left on the dock was we kind of had a little bit of an emergency situation going on. So they ran it up and they were just waiting for emergency services to get here. But finally, they're here. Going to help them out and get them out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, crew. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.